everything is new and I'm Dave, joined by Week Two uh, Cast. Alongside me is Harry. How are you doing? Hi, I'm I'm good. How are you? How are you? Doing pretty well. Looking forward to some of this action. Got a few uh, interesting roster changes on the side of SDCK with Likey on Spike as Mezzo isn't here. Relix on the sniper like he usually is, but here we go. First mid coming out. We yes. have SDCK in the blue and Fresh Pills in red. Pre season cup action starting us up on pro side. We're going to see SCCK get into the point first. Maze just going to stand on it. He's going to actually launch a run here really far back. He's going to get cleaned up by Lakey with the revolver as well. Just buddy trying to spam across the point a little bit. Neither team super committing as the point does start to count down. Cup time does become available here, Harry. Yeah, and Lakey gave the first two frags, both the soldier and the sniper, both strong classes on this map. And <laughs> there's so much damage coming out on the side of. Uh, fresh pills though, the medic's having to leave early but he's getting chased by Lakey in the main but <laughs> Omega goes down and Lakey having to give his dead ringer so Puka yeah, staying uh, alive there managing to keep his uber charge up but nearly getting caught in the uh, in the post uber fight or post uh, cap fight there Oh, Atreus coming in and he's actually been able to force out Gedu there they weren't watching that, that kind of main entrance into the pool room Everyone had rotated. There is going to be a counter Uber coming in for Fresh Pills. They don't have as many bodies as they would have liked. Getu is uh, very, very vulnerable, but he oh, looks like he'll just about escape on 14 health. Went very, very low. Even risks taking full damage, but he will wiggle his way out of there. Yeah, and lots of frags coming on both sides, but the better spawners on the red team, Fresh Pills, getting lots of their spawners up quicker because SDSK holding the point there. So they're going to be able to recap this with just over 50 seconds gone on the clock and uh, Getty actually going down there somehow not exactly quite sure how he managed to get caught but that's going to be a nice uber charge advantage about 50% for fresh pills but three frags down means that they aren't going to be able to contest this point very strongly for the next uh, five or so seconds yeah it's just our anterior and peak went forward as a, as a flag duo getting very very aggressive and May and Gedu had tried to stay in but they didn't really have the spawners up with them they hadn't quite bought enough time and Gedu did get punished which as you say gives Pijaka now Pijuka now uh, on the medic uh, he's got slight advantage they are actually going to come up to Uber here but James does go down just before Jackie Lick's picking him up so no sniper in the equation at the moment for Pills but they'll be happy that they can sit here on the point they're letting SCCK take control of uh, the now defunct pool room as they just hold on to their uber not having to be forced yet yeah the SCCK losing frags and again actually getting a nice stab onto a couple of the players there it's going to be about equal frags but this uber coming out from Pills the Gedu just about to get his and there Uber comes out as well this is going to be huge Uber I imagine everyone's going to get caught Buka just about managing to get out of main so he doesn't quite lose his uh, few Uber charge percentages quite but mate is on the prowl he's so uh, Buka's so weak one health he escapes into spawn with that's absolutely incredible may not quite able to get the frag before he is cleaned up and um, Buka escaping to get his 150 health back and yeah, I talked about the medic having to uh, having to take, get his tail out of there very, very quickly, and Puka did just that. He saw what was happening. He saw that the Uber was not going well for him. Got out of there. Still got chased all the way to spawn by mate, but will survive for now. But it has given SCCK a lot of presence on this point. They're actually using this extra little ramp area to play aggressively, uh, punishing any kind of attempt at an entrance from Bills at the moment. It's a little bit of Soldier MG going down on the bats. So they're going to knock Jack Legs down to the low ground, but he will take an arrow and continue the fight. Yeah, the Soldier MG continuing on the flank. Jack Legs ending up winning that entry, killing himself, but the Ubers come out in the meanwhile, and those are frags going the side of STCK, but they do lose a demo. It's going to be tough to win this for Bills, though. Puka is going to have to back out once again, staying alive. Doesn't get caught they don't win the fight it's not looking very good for pills so far they do have a time deficit to uh to make up and they don't have the point so stsk in a commanding position in this first round yeah i do like this adaptation for stsk to just play more aggressively using 
uh, that extra wooden area doesn't give much space at all for pills at the moment. But they've been able to bait a couple of players aggressively into that cave, but that's allowed the rest of the combo to run all the way back behind and onto the point that they're getting cap time and not being contested too much at the moment. There is Red Licks they have to worry about. They've lost a couple of players on the flank as well, so a collapse from SCCK could uh, be an absolute menacing force. But at the moment, Pills been able to cap uh, from behind. Yes, and the Ubers coming out on both sides. Pills getting their Uber Force. They're trying to defend this point, but they're just not able to. Not enough players and not enough space to able to hold this point. But STCK losing five in the process, and Gedu is probably going to have to back out all the way to spawn unless he's going to get caught. And this is going to get give Pills a very nice opportunity to get this recap. Not much time after they lose it originally. Probably going to be a close round in the end there. We're not going to have too much information about the Ubers because the HUDs are uh, broken for the next 90 seconds or so. But the cap coming out from Pills means that it's going to be uh, a strong position for them. They do have lots of frags and lots of space to be able to hold on to this point for quite a long, long time. Yeah, it looks like they're opting to go into the pool room now. They've uh, got pretty much all their players up and patrolling it, but it doesn't allow space on the point for Buddy and May, who are now pressuring. The spam is coming in. Vlad is doing his best to reflect all he can, but look how many players have lost. There's a flank coming in by Lakey and Jackie Legs. They're completely encircled in the pool room. Everyone is just going down. It's a, it's a massacre. Yes, they lose the medic as well. That's not what you want to see. Gedu needs to go down ASAP if your pills here, if you want to have a chance of this round. And uh, it's going to be tough. Five seconds left on the clock. They have to get cap time and prevent the Uber from blocking the entire time. It's going to be a big, huge fight to try to save the round, but they're not able to do it. And the first round, as one might expect, goes to STCK. decent stuff from them just they knew they were ready for the the pool hold they knew what to do they executed perfectly completely crushed pills who uh it was really the first time they'd kind of even ventured in there as a full combo and they were not ready for the scck aggression yes and here we go second mid is starting right now that's where the pause had just happened so 30 percent on each of the medics Bioka going really weak taking a pipe and jackie lucas is all the way in Lots of space being created because of that bomb. And the pills actually holding the ground as well. Guess he's playing nice and passive behind the point. Buddy on the point trying to create some space, create some damage. But the heavy is mowing people down, but losing two people on the flank. The pit classes go down, and that's going to open up the uh, SDSK to just walk onto the point. Don't have to worry about that sniper if he's dead. And that's going to be a free cap for them. Yeah, he usually went down pretty early on in that fight and no Demoban to spam across the point makes it very, very easy for them just take the high ground, take the presence on top of the point. Once the heavy gets on top of the point, it's pretty difficult to shift him. James went down at an awkward time as well. They're trying to get aggressive now. They're actually going to trade in onto Huji and Omga, but Omga, I don't know if he's going to get flashed out of there. I think he's sold out a little bit. He's going to go down and Venom now in a position to start to do some damage down, but Redlix is going to headshot him and Sandburn and now pressure forward for Yuka is having to rotate over but Buddy wants none of that he's going to jump in is going to get cleaned up is going to get punished for his aggression but STCK seemingly can do what they want for now but they have taken a lot of damage on their side of things and just going to have to back up onto point yeah when you don't have that demo man to deny uh, the enemy team they can just walk forward but Pills just stuck in this corner this heavy sambo and just dealing so much damage creating so much space for stck to just hold on this little uh catwalk kind of wooden catwalk area just this forward hold is so strong by the seams of it and sambo is taking full opportunity to be able to hold this aggro position Hugo is now coming forward with the heels get pushed back by this heavy once again sambo <laughs> just absolutely controlling the entire map the uber trade coming out buddy will now be back in the fight soon enough and it's just looks like nothing is coming out there. Just so many frags go in the way of STCK and can't do much of that um, when you are so many players down, can you? Yeah, and like he has continued to bully James and the thing that means is with the sniper consistently down, 
there is uh, they can just rotate around freely. We did see actually oh. SSK get very, very aggressive. Jack and Legs clear the Puka as they tried to back out of their pills. James is uh, back in position to try and continue the fight, but at the moment, SCCK just have full control of everything. Yeah, I don't know if you just caught that, but Hugo coming in for the bomb onto Dego just gets taken out of the air by Redlix um, before Redlix is taken down himself. But uh, looks like the Uber Charge disadvantage isn't going to be uh, stopping Pills from com coming forward onto the point. You need to take that space. They don't have to Uber yet, they can't use onto you. So if you can get this cap out and try to play the post, maybe get your medic out um, and try to uh, play and post Uber Charge fight. You might have a chance at this, but you're going three to frags down early, four frags down early. The Uber's coming out, and Puka is just with James. He's going to get chased all the way in. Maze on the prowl, Buddy's on the prowl, and Puka is absolutely destroyed in the back line behind Bats. And that's going to be full uh, Uber charge, well, not full Uber charge advantage, but full heals advantage. And too many frags. It's going to be second round going towards STCK. Not even a cap coming out from Pills. Uh, unless they can get onto the point right now. Yeah, it doesn't look particularly like it. Ajay is actually in position to maybe go for something, but uh, I think he sees there's, there's nine players in front of him. Yep. There's everyone just basically spore camping. Uh, don't think that was going to happen that road, sadly. No, he, he decided to save his KD. <laughs> knew, knew, knew they were going to lose. It's fair enough. But that's 2-0 to SDCK. Much stronger round from them then. Seems they've already figured out how to play this map. Pills still struggling. Hugo needs to stay alive on this middle if they want to have a chance at winning this mid fight, I think. But he's down, down so early once again. So much damage early, and that's James and Hugo. You've got no power classes to try to control this point. The sniper and demo key classes to be controlling this entire map. So Puka just backing out all the way. And he's going to keep his uber charge, but you do give up the points in the process. Yeah, they are going to have to rotate again. Just hugely go down so, so early on the mid fight is uh, really bad news. And he's getting aggressed on again by Jackie Legs, who's jumping in. He's such a menace on this map, just able to utilize the bats, able to drop down when he needs, plays all these little perch positions so adeptly as well. But Andreas found him out this time uh, with the help of his scout buddy Omga. They have been able to clean him up. But SCCK still controlling the point, but with Buddy down as well now, with a nice little snipe coming out from James. James continued to look for headshots, gets one onto the heavy, gets the force out because of that damage down onto Sunburn. And now SCCK have to trade out and gonna have to give up a little bit of space on the point there. Yeah, no combo classes apart from the Pyro alive from STCK, meaning Pill's gonna be able to take this. As long as Ghetto gets out, it's not going to be too bad for STCK, but only 45 seconds off the clock this time, as opposed to all three minutes. But 45 seconds is nothing to snap at, and if you can retake it with your next push, STCK is looking to be in a strong position, though Hugo going down and it means that STCK just walking straight onto the point. No demo, no heavy now. They've just got no spam to deny this point. It's going to be a free recap. Don't even have to build the Uber. Only 22 seconds taken off the clock for pills. Not the end of the world, but it's not looking great for them either. Yeah, it was a really nice little rotation for STCK, just utilizing the scout speed that Bay was able to give Gedu and just got all their players back in action. Looked like a little bit of a sack attempt actually, and Arantra is in. He's actually able to find the rocket down onto Gedu, who had nowhere to dodge to, was just relying on his pyro, but Garden Fungus didn't come through that time, and suddenly SCK only three up. Yeah, Jackie Legs trying to get in, but he messes up his bomb slightly, he's going to back out all the way, keep his, uh, keep his life on the table. He did actually create a few seconds there, they couldn't cap because he was around the point. Reglix going down to Ajay before dying to Likey. Uh, so, got lots of frags down but no sniper on either side, so as long as you can be standing on this point controlling it, there's nothing to fear inside in terms of the sniper and the uber is coming out trying to use the supercharge advantage to clean up lots of frags they got two so far with the super but Gedu is all the way out Ooh. but he gets caught by Huga. Amazing stickies from him and four frags down for STCK plus the medic is five now with Buddy and James dealing lots of work there. And it's looking like Pell's gonna be able to hold onto this point for now. Yeah, SCK just overstayed their welcome on the point. They thought Garden Fungus had done enough with his crucial air blasting of uh, that Uber, but uh, as soon as the Uber faded, 
Pillars were just able to continue the aggression, use, utilize the health and player advantage that they had, and able to just rain down damage onto Gedu. He was taken out, so Fuka does have an advantage now, but it's an awkward little situation at the moment where they don't quite have the Uber and SCCK are looking to get aggressive, but they have lost a few players for it. Ajay picking up Red Licks once more, and Venom able to control the pool area with the help of his demo man. Yeah, that was a nice little recap from SDSK, but they got up too many players to have it for too much time. Well, no, uh, to oh. have it for a, a long time, but actually, with a nice stab. Three frags, four frags now, but SDCK are down. It looks like they're going to lose even more Gedu as well. It's a full recharge advantage for Pills as they go for this pool hole once again. Maybe SDCK are going to try to send in a sack because they are behind on time and a full Uber charge down as well. It's going to be oh, tough for them. Oh, you no! say that! But Red Licks is able to find the shot onto Piyuka. Evens things oh, up. Getu has a slight advantage now, but the big thing is the heals at the moment for SCCK are coming in. They're playing just a blob around Getu. Actually, they're trying to rotate to the far left side, trying to walk onto the point without uh, the high ground players being able to Getu's rain down really damage weak, on them. Getu's really weak, on him. Oh! He goes for the stab instead of the shot, and... Gedu survives because of it. That was a tough one to watch, but they have only 30 seconds left on the clock pill, so they're not probably feeling too bad. Gedu going down to Eren through a bomb, and it's again not looking great for SDCK as they don't even have the cap yet. 15 seconds. Jackie Legs trying to come in, do something, but it's cleaned up by Omga, who's on an eight kill streak now, looking very strong for pills in this ending of this third round. Maybe they can actually take a round from STCK here. The heavy on the point, healing so much damage. Frags coming out galore for pills. They just have to hold onto the point for a little bit longer. And it looks like they're going to take this third round to 2 1 lead for STCK, but pills coming back in this third. Oh, buddy's just going to jump on the point. Gets a little bit of time, but not quite enough. And as you say, pills coming back very, very strongly. Didn't even have a good start to this round, but uh, somehow rebounding and just. Continuing to find frag after frag on Tekedu at important times and yeah, play that advantage. Those two key medic frags by Eren, Trier, and Huga there swaying the round in their favour. So we end this, enter this fourth round. Maybe they can keep their demo alive on the side of pills for the first time this entire game. But Jackie Legs is high going in. Huga is weak. He's so weak. Can they finish off the frag? No, but they've got so much space from Jackie Legs. They can control so much of this point now. It's favoured for STCK, but not if they lose that many frags. Gedu goes down as well. This collapse coming out from the side of Pills. We're going to win them this first mid fight, or uh, their first mid fight of the game so far. Large Ubercharge advantage, full Ubercharge advantage, in fact, as they go for this poor hold once again. And there's no Red Licks this time to even out the Ubercharge, but oh! there is Jackie Legs! Holy moly, 98% couldn't even force. That's not what you like to see of your pills. That's twice they've gone forward with their medic, and twice their medic has died. Maybe they are going to learn to not do such a thing. Oh, unfortunate stuff. Just getting caught the wrong side of that door frame, unfortunately, and Jackie Legs, uh... He takes no prisoners. You are out of there. You are airshot. You are destroyed. Nice little shot by Redlix is actually going to find the peak. Who was a little bit of an annoying presence in that pool room, but SCCK immediately are uh, just roaring back off that Jackie Legs play. Jackie Legs continued to go aggressive. He's found himself caught between a bunch of players in that cave area, but was able to find James just before going down himself. So a nice little trade from his end. Yeah, and that's four frags, in fact, for SDCK to be pressuring for this forward hold now. They have full Uber charge advantage, so much space as well. This little cat wooden catwalk thing, this platform is really able to you know, control so much of the map because you can get back towards the middle point so quickly. You can rotate just across, you don't have to drop down or anything. But fresh pills coming in from Ruin's side as the bomb from Jackie Legs comes in only 70% and they might even use the Uber to try to catch Piyuka here. Yeah, oh, like he's in position as well. He does get cleaned up eventually after getting two frags himself, but they don't really have the players here. Pills, Piyuka, 87%. He's going to have to try and get himself out there. They're not actually chasing too much SCK. They didn't have Jackie Legs. They didn't have May available with that Uber, so... Buddy just put a, a few pipes down, had a couple of targets in front of him, but really didn't find too much with that Uber, and now Piyuka's looking to counter pop. Yeah, and Gedo is really weak, gets cleaned up by Ajay there, may not be able to kill him before the medic going down. 
And that's four frags and a recap for pills here and an uber charge advantage to boot. Oh, Peak is uh, cleaning up all the players that are trying to go in behind. He's able to find both Sunburn and Clark. He's going to throw a nice little taunt in for good measure, but at the moment, Pills are <laughs> decently controlling the pool room until Puka once more is found by Redlix peeking out from that ruins area and finding a crucial headshot across the pool. Yeah, Redlix absolutely destroying pills right now that so many key frags he's got but Erendrea is back in and Geru goes down to the double play from the flank Omgo Erendrea just able to get in for free. Puka now with the Ubercharge advantage and they still hold the point pills. Uh, I guess TCK not wanting to delay their medic so they are delaying the cap there. They don't I was gonna say they don't care about Clark but they do <laughs> uh, so give a couple, couple, couple of seconds there but you do get your spawners back in able to defend this point more strongly now. Yeah, at the moment SCCK tried kind of been rotating in and out of pool room and uh, they haven't been exactly certain where they want to hold but they've kind of used their mobility uh, to their advantage and you know when they've had this stronghold it's it's worked pretty well for them. We're going to see Redlix actually just about win the sniper v sniper with the help of a little buff but that gives space for Buddy to put a, a few sticks down uh, try and control that logo and make it very very difficult for pills to walk in but they've found their way in through the far side through the flank and are probably going to start to attempt some cap pressure right now yeah and puka with a nice 25 percent uber charge advantage or thereabouts as they start to recap they know they have this uber to hold this uh ground that they've created but SCCK not even fearing this uber charge get two frags and buddy just standing on the point Gedu just about to get his uber as well they can defend this point nice and strongly with this uber the uber does come out Puka not used his yet and he's all the way back into main I think they really want to recap this for free and then just have this uber charge to be able to hold the point from any push buddy getting caught on the point but not going down and pills taking a while to take this cap back once again Yes, maybe a little bit greedy for Pills, but they're going to use the Uber. Can they flash Omga in? It looks like Gedu's able to escape. Buddy jumps himself out of there. They're not really chasing super deep here, Pills. They've eventually taken the point, but they've had to, to use their Uber to do it. And they did lose a lot of time there with, with just a little bit of greed. SCK doing a great job of just uh, aggressive defense to deny the point until they, they absolutely had to just give it up as soon as that Uber came out. Yeah, and Jackie Legs came in, got Vlad, and then because there's no air blast, Puka went down to Jackie Legs as well. That's not what you'd like to see if your pills with 15 seconds left on the clock. It's a tough fight to lose that as well, because they, but by using so late they had an Ubercharge disadvantage, but it ended up not mattering in the end. STCK with Ubercharge, 4 seconds left on the clock, they just use on the point. Can't be getting any cap time now, and that's going to be the map. Going the way of SDCK, a 3-1 pills, probably happy to get that one round after the second round, losing three minutes on the clock, that's never what you want to see.